Happy anniversary everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are celebrating the one year anniversary of this channel on YouTube. And with it, I'm going to share my thoughts about YouTube and provide you a brief update of what you can expect from this channel moving through this new year. I also first and foremost want to thank each and every one of you that has subscribed to the channel, commented on a video, or liked a video. Because of each and every one of you, this channel has grown. Now, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to. As for each new subscriber I get to the channel, I'm adding a new Lego minifigure to the tub here behind me. So if you would like to see me absolutely get buried in Lego minifigures, hit that subscribe button before you leave. But with that out of the way, let's get started on today's video. When starting off on YouTube, I originally had a different vision of how the channel would be and grow from what it is currently. I knew starting off that there were things I needed to do. And those things I thought I knew were from watching content creators here on the platform. But ultimately, I didn't know everything. It's kind of like going into a dark room at a friend's house. You know what the friend has told you and there are things inside that room. But ultimately, you don't know where everything is. And in particular, you don't know where the light switch is. Which brings me to my first thought. I wish that YouTube made things a little bit easier to understand for new content creators. Now, they give tools and tutorials for each content creator to use to help them put out and make their content. However, the problem is not in that. You see, when you first start a channel, that very first video gets you an initial push on YouTube. YouTube pushes it out there to get it some views. They promote it a little bit. But after that, you are completely on your own. Now going into YouTube, I did not know that that would be a case and it would be such a struggle to get my content viewed. Had I known that originally, I would have put out a different video to start off with. Now, I'm not discounting the pay to promote feature that YouTube has, because that is a thing. Nor am I discounting other forms of social media by which you can promote your content. What I am saying is that I wish YouTube was a little more transparent in how they initially start people off and how they promote content essentially be more transparent with the algorithm so that content creators have a little bit better idea of what they're stepping into and how to effectively promote their own videos without having to go through too many hoops. This actually comes around to my second thought on YouTube, which is that this is very much a small business mentality for all the content creators on the platform. Now, I personally, love business. I am engrossed in the idea of having my own business and running it. That's part of being in some ways an INTJ wanting to take control of what you own and really selling it. But I also subscribe to one of the very first rules of any small business venture, which is that you don't sink your own money into the business until you see a return on investment as being possible. Essentially what the idea is, you don't throw away the money you need for a venture that isn't going to give you money back. This is really important when owning a business, to try and see if it'll go on its own. If a business venture doesn't float and doesn't make money without you needing to put money into it, then it's ultimately a bad business venture. Getting back to my point, the idea of not putting money into a small business venture immediately makes one become creative when it comes to YouTube. You have to learn to adapt and be creative and use the things and tools that you already have in place, the things that you already have made an investment on and make them work for you. Now this need to be creative 
is not bad in some ways as it helps to kind of weed out the people that are ultimately not going to stick with the platform. Being treated as a small business also means that one has to put in a certain level of work in order to maintain the business, which also results in those that just don't want to put out getting kicked off the platform in some degree or just walking away from it because they don't want to keep up with the pace. But there is a problem here that needs to be addressed, and that is the big corporations that have moved onto the platform. Now, I'm all for competition. Competition encourages growth in every way, shape, and form. Without competition, there is no growth. But the big corporations that have these really massive budgets and can put out content at a faster clip than a small business can is a problem as it usually winds up squeezing out the small person. However, I have yet to personally see this happen on YouTube. Will it happen in the future? I don't know. But the one thing that can save all this is the mentality of the viewer. For me personally, I come here for the content creators that are on YouTube first. The big corporations, if they have something on here, they are second in my mind for what I am here for on YouTube. If each and every viewer out there has this mentality, the content creators here on YouTube are safe and will continue to flourish for many years. If something shifts that though to the big corporations first and the content creators second, then there will be a major problem. This though leads me into my third thought, which is the community of YouTube is probably the best of any social media platform. Now, yes, I know that no matter where you go, there are going to be trolls, just people that absolutely want to destroy and ruin someone else's day. But for at least my channel, I have seen more positive people in the community and more resources made by the community than possibly any other platform. Yes, this is probably partially because of how old YouTube is as a platform, but it's also because the content creators here on YouTube create content that actually helps build up the community. For example, if you need help figuring out a part of a program that you're using, where can you look to find the answer? Look it up on YouTube. You wanna learn a new recipe? YouTube. Need to repair your home? YouTube. Need to figure out that pesky YouTube algorithm? Well, guess who made a video about it explaining it because they actually did the research on the darn thing? You guessed it. Look it up on YouTube. Information like this has been made by the content creators on the platform to help other content creators is possibly why YouTube has the single best community ever. If you want to know the reason why I am here on YouTube as opposed to any other social media platform, it is because of the community here that helps build each other up and the platform that we are all on. On that note, I would like to give a little shout out to Insert Type, who I didn't realize until recently had a channel here on YouTube, which if you have a minute, go check them out. Before I go, I want to give a brief update about what you can expect from the channel moving forward. First and foremost, we have my INTJ perspective videos, which I'm going to continue to make. In these videos, I just give my personal opinion, but you can suggest anything you'd like to hear my opinion on. Just drop a comment in the comment section down below. Secondly, I recently got a green screen, which I immediately put to use making eight cognitive function comedy sketches. 
Now, I personally really enjoyed making those and I'm going to be making more of them in the future. So if you would, please go check those out, especially if you need a laugh. Thirdly, I'm working on another comedy series that's more episodic in nature, almost like a TV series. I don't have a lot of information that I can really present to you right now, but I hope that you'll look forward to it in the future. Lastly, I would like to remind everyone that me and two of my best friends have a podcast that you can listen to here on YouTube called Nerd Break Podcast. If you like listening to me and would like to know more about the things I like, then please check that out. Well, that does it for today's video. Thank you everyone so much for an amazing first year. Before you go, please don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified whenever I drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.